Well, yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. And um, as you can see, the sun is just beaming me right in the face. Usually I'm opening videos um, in the dark, you know, while we're setting up decoys or in the shop or something. But today is a different style of hunt. What we got going on here is we've been waiting for birds to get off this uh, little bit of sheet water on these beans. And they're finally getting off, they're going to the field. And what we are doing is we're pulling in and sitting up behind them. Now, they roosted on here, not very many birds, but they did roost on here decently. This is a major, major loaf little water area, jigger -a rigger in the beans. It's going to be doing it dirty in the beans today, boys. Lots of sheet water here in Kansas, and with this warm weather, everything really opened up. Been pretty good hunting so far with everything being opened up but I would like to have another cold front. And there's only three of us today. We're gonna be running in layout blinds today. So, water, layout blinds, socks and silos, three guys. I hope this hunt just turns into an absolute banger. It has the potential to, let me tell you. Honestly, yesterday I was like, there's no way that those birds are gonna be uh, roosted on it overnight. And sure enough, some of them did. Some of them did. You need to check out the ducks thermal hoodies i'm telling you i've been wearing the thermal sweats and the thermal hoodie and let me tell you they've been keeping me extra warm if you guys want to check them out and pick some up i will link them down in the description below but we're gonna to have to get to work here a lot of work to be done with only three of us after we get everything set up laid down and everything i'll bust open the camera and show you what we got going on Oof. well we're all sweating our tails off three of us today and uh, we set the biggest thing we could in time to get sat down so we could keep shooting here. Have a basically, we just rushed as fast as we could, got up what we could in about 45 minutes. Uh, it is 9.03, so they're gonna have a good two, two and a half hours. They're gonna be trying to loaf on here around 11. It's gonna get interesting. We just had two giant Canadas go down the spread when we were walking back through the field, so it was a good sign. Ben, we got Ben today. Oh man, do we have Ben today. <laughs> ben has had a bummed foot. He's had a bummed foot and uh, we took him out on a, what was it, four days ago? Four days ago we took him out on a field hunt and man, he hadn't had a bird in his mouth for over a month and it was just, that, that dog is just unreal. This is where we're sitting here and this is what we built. We put the decoys just kind of in the water just a hair bit and we mix Canada Sillows and Canada Socks, so, and a lot of sun. So, here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Got these darn specks here. Well, they are coming at us here. We're just, we had two land when we were walking to the spread, like I said. We're gonna see what these birds do without any calling here. Look at this single just doing it. He don't see us at all. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. There we go. I got two darks wanting it. Oh man, they're getting down. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Honkerville. Gonna come right over the top, boys. Get ready. Swing back. There we go. Yep. Shoot him. Where's he at? You got a walker. They got up. Well, we got birds up that were got in the field over there. Good, here. There we go, boys. Two down. Hello, they ate it up, dude. They loved it. Wow. Oh, old Ben's loving it. First bird of the day. Holy smokes! Look at these birds. Holy smokes! Ooh, doggy. Old Ben's loving that second retrieve of the day. <laughs> I 
That's a big pterodactyl you got there. <laughs> it's ringing that thing's neck like no other. Get it! Well, we haven't been calling. They've actually been liking a lot more without the call. We have good wind today and they're just loving it. So, that's what we're going to do. Are these all specs? Oh, these are, these are darks right here, aren't they? Come on, get in here. There's some whites. Come on, we want them white daddies today. If any of them will do it, I want to shoot snow so bad I can taste it. Smoke that lone one. He dead. That boy is stone cold dead. So what happened? We got there's a lot of specs in the area. Ducks and specs are still closed here in Kansas. So uh, when we have a lesser low, we're gonna take the lesser every time. Ooh, that was a good picture right there, son. Oh, your dad's gonna like that one right there. That's fresh. Oh, another one coming at us. Yeah, no calling. It's going good. I've shot three. Ross shot at least two. It's going really well. Uh, a lot of specs though. Specs are closed like I had said, and uh, I mean Kansas, we are still loaded with the specs. It's crazy to think about what the uh, hatch was actually like for the specs. It was a really good hatch this last year, so um, literally specs everywhere. It it sucks. <laughs> specs. Yep, they're specs. That left one just had enough bars that I could see them, because they weren't making any noise. Come on, get in here. It's still not calling. We haven't had good luck calling. So, seems like they're just, uh, they get over that water and they don't like the call so much. So, we've shot them without having to blow the old horn. So, might have to start clucking if, if this ain't working here. Well, we got a single snow just doing it dirty over the, If you get a shot on them, Bill, you take them. Oh, yeah. Kill them. <laughs> that's a that's a dead whitey right there. Oh, he landed all. That's the first bird that wanted to land all the way out in the water. Uh -huh. Huh? I'll be darned. Well, single snow is down. Oh, ben is loving life. Uh, Old Ben is just loving life. Oh, yeah. Got him a mouthful of white. Taking it back to dad. Single right in front here. I don't know if it's a speck. I can't tell. Is that a snow? It's a snow. Get ready. Smash on him. Oh! He got obliterated. <laughs> Dude, that whitey got toasted. I mean, done. That was awesome. Yeah. He got smashed on, boy, right there. Good boy, heel. He had something weird. Did you see something? The commitment of that single snow was beautiful. If that could just happen on every field hunt, I'd love it. But I can guarantee you the dynamic today, even though it's sunny with no clouds, is the wind and this water. They love this sheet water. Here they come, here they come behind us. More behind us coming. One behind us coming. Whew. Loving it. Jeez, they love it. These specs just love it. God. Telling you what, this is the first year that I have ever seen this many specs in Kansas. It is phenomenal. Here we go, we got lessers. Get ready. All lessers right here in this group. Take them. Nice. Oh. Heck yeah. Woo. Ross just took off to the truck to uh, go get the box of white decoys. He should be a little farther right. Oh, there it is. Yep, he's got him. Ross missed out on that one. Me and Bill got into him there. But Ross went back to go get some snow goose decoys. I think we're going to put some snow goose decoys out. Uh, I think it's really going to turn them snow goose on just to give it right on up. Here. 
Man, there's a lot of specks in there. Goodness. That is just lessers and specks mixed hard. You can't even pick them out. Yeah, we can't shoot into that. These are specks right here doing it. Goodness gracious, the amount of specks is just terrible. They are literally mixed throughout that thing. Oh, well we are set down here. A little after one o'clock, leaving the spread up. We want to shoot some snows. Uh, we're not even close to being limited out on anything. But it's been a solid morning. It's a migrational day, we can tell uh, with this warm weather. There's been one heck of a one heck of a rebound going on. So these are mainly specs. It's been a tough day. We haven't called a lot of shots due to having specs in all these flocks. There are solid groups of lessers that do it, but they're usually a lot smaller. The bigger groups like these ones are specs. Beautiful day though. Got some great wind. Wind is at like 18 mile an hour. Uh, this is the third day that we're in the upper 50s and 60s, low 60s that is. Beautiful. Man, they don't want to get low. That's a big group. We haven't really got the, caught the interest of very many big groups. Singles and doubles love it though. Out of the blinds and everything and they're just loving this spread. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, back at the house here, and as you can tell, we got a little snow on the ground. Yeah, I filmed this hunt a few days ago, and I didn't really get to close it, close it out because we sat all day. By the time we started picking up, it was completely pitch dark out, and luckily we had some uh, of Ross's buddies come and hunt with us that evening, so they actually did do us a big favor and help us pick up uh, the spread. But by the end of the day, Ross had brought another like 50 dozen snow goose decoys and we had sat them out, so we had a ton to do. That's why I'm closing it now. But at the end of every hunt, every video, I want to give you my two cents, like always. I want to stay true to the promise I gave you guys that I'm going to do that. I'm going to come home, and we're going to assess the hunt, and we're going to talk about what worked and what didn't. So on this hunt, it was a lot warmer, as you can tell now. Uh, there was a huge, huge north push. The birds were pushing north, and they were just coming through my area. I mean, like a freaking highway. It was three days of northbound traffic. And with big pushes like that, whether they're pushing south because of weather or north because of weather, pushing and moving birds can be a lot more vulnerable than stationary birds. That's why we sat all day. Now, we didn't shoot a bunch. I mean, not any more than eight or nine birds, honestly. And three or four of them were uh, Rossies. We actually shot like three or four Rossies. It was an extremely slow afternoon. We honestly just enjoyed sitting out there because it was like 60 degrees, 55 degrees, awesome wind, and warm in those laid-on blinds. It was actually nice just sitting out there, enjoying nature, enjoying just sitting in the spread, watching birds naturally work over you, check out your decoys. Maybe you shot a few, maybe you didn't. But I can tell you what, that's what we all enjoyed most about that day. We weren't freezing our tails off, so it made it enjoyable. Sometimes that's what hunting's about, guys, and uh, I can tell you, it wouldn't have mattered if we would have shot a pile or we would have only shot two. We still would have been out there all darn day. They were way more worried about moving north than getting down low enough to check out our decoys. They did a little better in the morning than the afternoon, obviously. But my justification was that their brains were set, their minds were made up. Guys, let's get north. Let's not stop. And that's what they did. But now, this weather right here, oh, it shoved them all back down right into Bobby's good old lap. And let me tell you what, they've piled up. I went scouting this morning and I found about six feeds. So we're loaded back up to the brim. That's how it works, guys. Weather shoves them around so much. Just pay attention to the forecast like I always preach. But I haven't got to show you this hoodie in forever. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's the Cup Ducks hoodie. Check that bad boy out. If this is your first time seeing it, there you go. If you want to pick one up, if you guys want to pick up one of these Cup Ducks hoodies, I will go ahead and link them down in the description below. You guys know when you purchase something from DucksWaterfowl.com, it goes directly to supporting your boy and doing this. So I want to thank you all for being here. 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you like this video, give your boy a big old thumbs up like always. All of my subscribers out there that leave awesome positive vibes down below, thank you so much. I really want to put you guys on a pedestal right now and tell you that how important it is to us YouTubers that you guys that really like our channel, you let us know down below because I'm telling you, telling you what, the, there are some haters out there. So we appreciate you uh, positive minded folk. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.